All right, y'all, let's talk about catching fish. So the last video that I did was about how to locate saltwater fish. This video today is going to be the uh, lures and the techniques used for catching these fish. So we gotta locate them first, then we gotta catch them. So this right here is everything that I use to catch my saltwater fish. Um, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory, everything in this bag. I like to keep it simple. So I have talked to numerous charter captains all up and down the East Coast from Florida to Texas, North Carolina, and all of them are pretty consistent with um, with their hard plastic lures, keeping it very, very simple. Do not let people sell you on all of these crazy colors and all these crazy different apparatuses, but we will talk about that. I just wanna to talk to y'all today about catching saltwater fish. And within that, keeping it simple. If you, if you, you're So if you're confident and you have a general idea what you're doing and you're able to locate fish, catching them comes pretty easy. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of what I use. Um, I'm gonna talk about some of the lures. I'm also gonna show y'all some of the um, equipment that I use, rods and reels. And again, I'm just here to keep it simple so that you guys can minimize that word luck about fishing and maximize fish catching potential. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with the first type of bait that I'm gonna talk about is soft plastics. Uh, soft plastics are honestly one of my confidence baits for saltwater, for fishing lures. So for fishing with plastics, um, I use uh, these gotcha jig heads right here that I'm gonna have a picture of, probably popping up right here. And so I use three different sizes. Um, I use uh, one eighth ounce, quarter ounce, and a 3 8 ounce jig head. I couple that with um, Berkley Gulp. These are expensive, but they're worth it. Uh, I'm actually a little bit, I am more successful with these than most people are with live bait. Um, with Berkley Gulp, um, with the baits that I like to use are the swimming mullet, the jerk shad, and the shrimp. Those are my top three favorite lures that I use uh, when I fish soft plastics. Um, this one right here, this is the new penny colored shrimp. This is, I think it's a three inch new penny colored shrimp. And this, you know, again, from talking to numerous charter captains and numerous top, you know, anglers up and down the East Coast um, in saltwater, new penny colored is an amazing color. It's very natural. All right, so the shrimp and a popping cork are a deadly combination. If you're fishing in honestly 12 feet of water to one to two feet of water, then this right here is gonna be a deadly combination. This is honestly my confidence bait right here for fishing inshore for most species. Um, the popping cork works really well coupled with the shrimp and when you're fishing it with the shrimp, I'm typically using either a 1 8 ounce or a quarter ounce jig head because you want the shrimp to not be weighted down too much. If you fish anything heavier than a um, quarter ounce, you know, 3 8 ounce, some, some captains do fish a 3 8 ounce jig head and they actually recommend it. Honestly, it's whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you're confident with. Um, if it's really heavy winds, then maybe you wanna up, up it to that 3 8 ounce jig head. But let's just keep it simple. So let's go quarter ounce jig head, popping cork, two feet of leader line, you got your beads going to your main line and you've got the brass end going to your bait side. You want the beads to be closest to your bait because that right there is that clicking sound that is mimicking a shrimp that's trying to escape its uh, to escape the predators. So this right here, number one bait for inshore. Um, if it's deeper, if I'm fishing for flounder, if I'm trying to get to the bottom, then I'm going to fish just Keeping it so simple, just fishing straight to a jig head. I'm probably gonna run a three ounce jig head, which would be one about this size right here. Um, I'll actually have a picture for this right now. Uh, red, typically red or white are my favorite colors. I like red because it's, you know, um, kind of resembles like a bleeding fish that's really struggling. That's a tough meal to pass up for a predator. I also like white, uh, I don't know, I just do. Uh, but when I'm fishing for that, 
I typically like these swimming mullet right here, which I'm gonna have a picture of, and all you're gonna do is just bounce this off the bottom. Christy and I, we have another tutorial on fishing with these Berkeley Gulp swimming mullets, and those are a killer bait. Pearl white is my favorite color for that. So another bait that I like to use is the jerk shad. Um, for the jerk shad, I also like to fish that with a popping cork. Um, what that's going to do is it's almost like, it's, it's exactly like a bass zoom fluke, which is one of my favorite bass lures. And what that does is it's like, kind of creates a darting action um, when you fish it under a popping cork. Another pro tip for fishing with these lures and these Berkeley gulps, which can get really expensive, is that what you want to do is sometimes they come in these packs like this right here. Um, what I do is I will actually put these inside of one of these right here because all these juices right here really do make a difference. That scent really makes a big difference. I'm not sponsored by Berkeley Gulp. I'm not endorsed by Berkeley Gulp. I'm just speaking from an unbiased fisherman that Berkeley Gulp really does work and um, you'll have people who tell you that it's too expensive, but hey, I don't believe that because it works and I catch more fish with Berkeley Gulps than I do with a lot of people with live bait. Actually, most people with live bait. But this right here is a jerk shad. I'll have a picture of it. But what this does when you fish it under a popping cork is that it's going to imitate a struggling bait fish that's darting and trying to escape um, the predator. So this right here is another one of my top favorite saltwater lures to catch the fish right there. Um, I do, I, I tried these like double tail uh, swimming mullets here. Those ones work well, but again, white is essentially um, my favorite color to fish with the swimming mullets. Um, you've heard people say that the lighter the color of the water, the uh, lighter the color of the lure, and that is true. So if it's really clear water I'm fishing in Florida, I'm gonna fish white. Um, but also, I've had great success fishing in um, tented water and up here in Virginia, North Carolina, in some of our backwaters, we tend to get some really murky water and white actually works really well in that too. So when I'm fishing for flounder or I'm fishing for drum or trout, um, then I'm actually still gonna throw the pearl white. The other color that I use for the swimming mullets, I have used chartreuse and that works well, but I really don't go um, really anything further than that. Again, guys, I like to keep it very, very, very simple. So after speaking with you know a lot of charter captains and very experienced anglers, they share the same viewpoint too, to just keep it simple and pearl white is the most effective color for the swimming mullet. Um, for the jerk shads, uh, they have like a, uh, nuclear chicken um, color that I actually like to use. It's like a green and uh, we got red on top. And then I also like the, uh, I believe it's just like a new penny colored. Uh, what is this? Uh, yep, so it's a new penny uh, jerk shad and six inch is what I like to use for that. That's a killer bait fished under a popping cork. Also, you can fish it um, just straight to the jig head. You know, again, if it's deeper water and you need to get the bait down, the popping cork does not work in all situations. Sometimes um, you do have to fish it straight to the jig head because you wanna get that bait down to the fish. Um, so I do fish the jerk shad that way. It's just like fishing for bass with the zoom fluke. You know, you're just gonna let it sink and then you're going to make twitches about every three to four seconds as that you know bait is darting just like this right off of the rocks. All right, y'all, so let's check out the hard plastics. So when I'm fishing, again, it's very, very simple. This right here, this is the Spook Junior. This is one of the most effective topwater lures. And what do I have right next to that? This is another color of the Spook Junior. I'm gonna leave a description for all of these, um, what I use. But again, the Spook Junior, if you're in Texas, Florida, Virginia, even up to New York, these are one of the most effective topwater lures. Early morning and night are the most effective for these. What you're gonna do is using a walking the dog motion. All you're doing is you're twitching as you're reeling it in. So reeling, twitching. And what that's doing, that lure is going to what we call a walking the dog motion. If you get a hit on this Spook Junior and it misses,
keep walking it. And actually you do want to increase your speed sometimes because that's gonna imitate a fish that is really trying to escape that prey and that's, going, and that's what's going to entice that drum or that trout to hit it again. So, very important. If you're fishing the Spook Junior and a lot of times you're gonna get like a short strike, especially with trout, keep working it. Keep walking the dog and sometimes increase your speed and that's what's going to keep that fish coming back. So the next most effective um, hard plastic lure that I like to use are these. These are mirror lures and this has the red eye in it. These are suspending um, and what they do is they will sit there and some of them are slow sinking, some of them are actually suspending and these work great in the late fall and in the winter time. These work great all year round but especially in the late fall and winter when those fish are lethargic um, you are going to wait actually some instances 20 seconds in between each twitch and this bait right here is just making these motions through the water. Kind of sinking so this right here is one of the most effective late fall and winter baits. Okay, so the next type of hard plastic that you're gonna want for inshore fishing are plugs. And this plug right here, it's small, it's effective, it's all you need. So for Spanish mackerel, um, for um, a lot of your inshore species, these plugs and almost like these spoons right here, these are very, very effective. Um, you want to uh, reel these in at a good speed, just reel them in. Sometimes you can have a twitch with it, but you're just going to reel these in at a good speed and these are going to draw strikes. These are also great for pier fishing. Again, Spanish mackerel, these are one of the most popular. You probably even catch a king mackerel, especially with one like this right here from the beach. The last one that I also like to use is these Yozuris. These right here are a shallow, um, almost like a crankbait. They also have like beads in them and they make a vibration. And when they go through the water, they are swimming like this. And these right here are extremely effective all the way down to the Florida Keys, casting these up into the mangroves, catching uh, tarpon, snook, um, you know, tons of inshore species, especially up here in Virginia and, you know, Delaware and the Outer Banks these Yozuris are extremely effective. So these are two examples that I use and what Kirsty uses as well. Each of these setups, less than $150, and these are very simple. You do not need to go breaking the bank. This one right here, this is a Shimano. This is a 2500 series that I use. This is a seven foot um, medium action spinning tackle. This is really all you need right here. For anybody who's looking to get a new combo and not looking to break the bank, the best reel, in my opinion, is the Pin Fierce. This is a Pin Fierce 4000. This is what Kirsty uses. Um, she actually has this on a Berkley rod. This is a Berkley lightning rod. Um, this is, I believe it's seven foot, it's seven foot medium spinning. So um, this rod right here is actually about $35 at Walmart. The Pen Fierce is an excellent reel. This is a little bit of a lower end for pen, but it's everything that you need, especially for salt water. So these are two examples of what we use for inshore fishing. These can handle almost any inshore species. All right, so hopefully you all found that helpful. Um, you know, me sharing with y'all, you know, Christy and I here at One Fish, Two Fish with our go-to inshore saltwater lures, techniques, and equipment. Um, of course, if y'all have any questions, comments, or if y'all just want to go fishing, then hit us up here. Um, leave us a, you know, a comment below. Uh, send us an email at one fish, two fish TV. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe because we do post numerous videos every week. Um, you know, again, we're just here to get stoked on fishing and to get y'all stoked on fishing too. So thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, catch up with y'all soon and peace out.